That was a great crowd for an exhibition. I tell you what, I think that was a bigger in introductory crowd when we introduced the game, the starting lineups, than maybe all but one game last year. He would have played today if it was a Big West game. He's been chomping at the bit. We use this as a as an opportunity. Doctors wanted him to be shut down as long as we, as long as we were comfortable till he really felt good, and he's feeling very good. I wanted him shut down until the games start counting and that rest and getting this Achilles completely healthy and all of that will I think pay great dividends come January and February you know we don't want a tired Orlando because he had such a grueling offseason come January February March yeah. I thought TJ Al and John Green all looked like guys that belong in the Big West will play well in the Big West um, could be impact players I think as freshmen all three of them could play that. Now, I mean, you know, first game where you get those nerves going, or? I told you, yes. I was so nervous. But, I mean, going up against Jaime and Greg every day of practice kind of prepares you for anything. So. It looked like your teammates were looking for you after a while. Like James not only driving in, mm -hmm. Kyle and everybody, you know, dishing in India. And uh, it was I nice being a freshman yeah. where experienced players got the confidence. Yeah, it was definitely really nice. Uh, it was great to know that my teammates had confidence in, in me. And I, my, I myself had confidence in my teammates, so if I did, you know, go, go up for a rebound, I'd get it out to them as quickly as possible because I knew if I set a good screen and rolled to the basket, I'd get it back because we're a real unselfish team. And I think a lot of people saw that. I mean, our shots weren't falling as much. We were moving the ball well. Uh, we were getting good shots when we had them. And throughout the season, I'm, I'm sure they're going to fall. So. It felt great. I mean, it was any time Boz would hit a three or John would get an one or, or I'd get a rebound or something like that or anybody on the team, it just it felt so good to have the whole crowd on our side. You know what I mean? Like, in high school, you don't really experience that because of smaller crowds and whatnot. And from what I saw last year, we didn't get as much attendance as I saw tonight. It was great. The fan turnout was amazing. And you could definitely feel that the Thunderdome was rocking again. So it, it felt good. You got anything, John? Yeah, yeah. Well, what I see this year, and, and you know, this year's team is a lot of character. You know, we bring you know all the guys we get along. So we're funny. Hey, <laughs> always cracking <laughs> jokes. You know, for the freshmen, you know, we we wanted this to happen. You know, a big crowd for us, a lot of fans supporting us, and we need that support. And that support helped us to get this W today, this win. And you know, Boss hitting the three, Al getting the rebounds. You know, everybody just doing the job made me play better as well. Kyle. Uh you didn't make the trip to Canada, so you're probably no, more antsy than the other guys to get out there and play. Yeah, right? it's been a while since I've played a game. That's just last season. You go through spring workouts, and you're doing three workouts a day sometimes, and you're just you're just ready to play someone else. We had, we had a good spring, and we had a great summer as a team. And even though I didn't make the trip to Canada, I came back, and I was ready to go, and I think that made a big difference. Everyone came back from Canada. They were, they were antsy to get the season started, knowing how fun it was in Canada. And I just wanted to jump on that wagon, knowing that everyone's been working hard, and I don't want any slippage on the team because I came back and ready to play ball again so was it nice to get that first shot and get it oh it's always nice to get the first shot it gets everything flowing you know even if I missed it I knew it felt good so that was the biggest thing going to the game is confidence in my shot so well it's one thing that jumped out at me is how how James Nelly has been a become a real total player I mean he was looking for teammates all over the place I think he had six assists guy really I mean it seems like he's gone from being a scorer to being a really an all-around player James James has changed a lot. He's become a great teammate, and everyone else can contest for that on my team. It's last year people may think, oh, he was just a scorer, but you know this 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 year especially, he you know he wants to be a complete player for us to be a winning team, and and I'm really proud of him. He's looking for other teammates, and and when our shots aren't falling, he's being positive with us and saying, keep shooting, keep shooting, and that's that. As a teammate, it feels great to have the confidence, like one of the best players in the team, to give you give you that basically that green light to you know keep going and keep fighting through it and. Same to James, we're looking for him as well, so it's not like he's just going to be a passer and we're both looking for each other. I think that's what this team's got like any other team we've had in the past. Uh, it's pretty obvious you guys are all friends and like each other. Team chemistry, you get better, especially with, I don't know, especially with, you know, <laughs> freshman contributing, playing with heavy minutes. How, uh, how are you guys gelling so far? It looks good out there. 
Oh, we're gelling fine, you know. People, you know, around us call call us the Fab Five freshmen, you know. We're the second generation, I guess you can say. But you know, hey, we we own up to the name the Fab Five, you know. We're just ready to come in and contribute to the team, do what we can do, what's best for the team, defense, rebounding. We all have a specific job and we, you know, play that role. And when what the older guys are telling us that this team is very different because all the guys are getting along with each other. I mean, we hang out with each other after practice. We're sitting in the locker room just cracking jokes for hours and hours. And it <clears throat> it really shows on the court because we went on the stretch. We went kind of down a little bit. But as a unit, we all came together and fought back and got the lead back. And it just shows how much character, like John said, how much character we do have and how much trust and confidence we have in each other. And I feel like that's going to take us further than any other statistical area yep. on the basketball court, that character and gelling that we have as a team is just the best thing we can have. Talk about your, uh, your point guards, TJ and Nate, what they, you know, switching them in and out, what they bring differently to the table for you. You know, I mean, there's a different, there's a, a little different quickness level between them right now. TJ's jet quick and can get up and pressure better and, and do that. Nate's a little more savvy in passing the ball and sees people quicker and gets the ball to people a little quicker. Um, I think the combination will be a, a good combination as the year goes on. I think they'll they'll play well off of each other. They're a nice change of pace. I certainly am not a fan of watching you know my, our point guards go 0 for 9 from the floor. First of all, I think you guys know me well enough that I don't really need a point guard taking nine shots. You know, and if they are, they better be phenomenal shots, and we're knocking down five or six of them. That's that's the way you want. Your point guard plays that we're going to have scores on the floor. You're going to have Boswell, Nunley, Orlando, Jaime. You're going to have John Green, uh, Keegan when he gets healthy. All those guys are scores. Point guards need to distribute the ball and be just be really comfortable with that. Set the tone for us, pushing it hard and defending hard. He's a natural scorer, and the great thing is I don't think he's going to be phased by the level. He's one of those guys that's he's going to get buckets whenever we play against. He'll get shots. The ball will come to him. He'll, he'll find a way. He's so long arm. He's phenomenally long arm. He shoots it high, shoots it back here so he can get rid of it. I mean, he's got a little Jamal Wilkes-ish release. And we, won't, we don't mess with it. We're just messing with his feet, trying to quicken everything up, trying to get him where he runs harder, trying to get him where he does those things. Um, because it will, it will create more opportunities for him. How, how big of a role or how many minutes do you see those two guys playing this season? TJ and John? No, I'm sorry, uh, John and Alan. You know, Al, I really don't know. It, a lot depends on how well Hyman plays and how well Greg plays and how healthy they stay. Um, John, I see having a – I think John will play. John will play a lot. Um, we'll play small. Everybody knows I like playing small at times. Um, everybody knows I like guys that can score it. John fits those two molds. He can play the four or the three. He really can't play the two. He can't guard a two at this stage of his career. And we don't really need him there. You know, if you look at it, we got Nate and TJ at the point. We're going to have Boz and Orlando playing the two. We'll have Nunley and John playing the three with John playing the four. Um, and then the times none might move over when we want to play small. Um, and then we got Jaime and we got we got um, Smoge and we got Big Al playing the five. And we'll see what happens with Keegan and we'll make a decision on what we're going to do with Taryn and Lewis, whether or not there's enough minutes available or are we better off looking to redshirt.